24-7 Fusion Media. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And yesterday, I came across this article. I thought it's very unfortunate that OSHA is now investigating the death of crew member on Marvel Studios' Wonder Man production. And other than finding out that Wonder Man was being created and that Yahya Abdul-Mateen II is actually casted to be Wonder Man. Our first big news from this production is that we find out that there's been a death on the set of Wonder Man. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA is investigating the death of a rigger who died on the set of Marvel Studios Wonder Man production. I wonder how this happened. Very, very unfortunate. Deadline reports Juan Carlos Osario, 41, of Temple City, died Tuesday after falling from a catwalk at Radford Studios. The show was reportedly not filming at the time he fell from the catwalk. A Marvel spokesperson issued the following statement. Our thoughts and deepest condolences are with his family and friends, and our support is behind the investigation into the circumstances of this accident. Hmm. And that's Juan Carlos Osario. May you rest in peace. IATSE President Matthew D. Loeb confirmed that OSHA would investigate Osario's death, saying, Everyone in the IE family is shocked and deeply saddened by this tragic loss. We are working to support our member's family and his fellow members and colleagues. He added, Safety on the set is our highest priority, and we will assist Cal OSHA in their investigation in any way we can. Yeah, that's uh, very unfortunate. It says here that a GoFundMe claims that Osario's death was due to a potential structural failure. Wow. So Marvel's going to get sued. They're going to get hit with a lawsuit. I know this gentleman's family is going to go after him. So hopefully uh, they do the right thing. It reads, on February 6, 2024, our friend Spike lost his life on the set of Marvel's Wonder Man shoot at CBS Radford Studios due to a potential structural failure. We are hoping the production company, the facility, MBS, Marvel Studios, handles things properly, but expect a long road fraught with attorney fees and expenses. It concludes, in the meantime, bills will be mounting and the widow, boom operator, Joan W., will be left to deal with everything. Help if you're able is greatly appreciated. The GoFundMe is organized by Bill Martell and has currently raised $152,493. So, on the set for a TV show that nobody asked for concerning a superhero that nobody knows about, being put out there by a company, that is going down in flames and dealing with a whole bunch of things, lawsuits and a bunch of other stuff going on right now with Disney. Now, something like this happens. And to be honest, nobody's gonna be watching this Wonder Man show. And it was probably good that they employed people to you know, work on the sets to try to bring this thing to life. But it's tragic how this gentleman lost his life due to a structural malfunction on a show that, from what I understand, doesn't even start shooting till March, till next month, and already there's a death on the set. Hopefully the Osario family get their day in court. Hopefully uh, when OSHA's done, they can get to the bottom of what actually happened and we can give you an update on this story. But this is tragic and um, there's no other way to put this. But that's my take and that's how I feel. You guys leave your comments for me, if you could please, at the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on uh, on, the, on the death, on the set of uh, the new Wonder Man production. Like I said, you guys, please let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And as always, it's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. 
and I'm out. Peace.